Okay, Ryan Chase. I'm Tommy Hardcourt from the Woo! Bison Dude, Nice. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I ask you a few uh, questions? No problem. Uh, what was your name? Uh, Tommy from the Bison. Hey, Timmy. Shoot. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Uh, so, tonight's win. You put up 29 and 13 with nine assists. 29. Uh, what does that type of performance mean to you going into next week's state final against High Tide? <laughs> Jimmy, I mean, um, I'm focused on my team. You know, bringing out the best in all my guys. But, uh, you know, it's just like making sure that the team plays the best it can play. Okay. So any jitters with all the scouts around? No, you know, not at all. But, I mean, the challenge for me is I know what they're looking for when they make the trip, you know? And so then doing even more than that. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a team in that other locker room. They agree with me. So any nerves about next week's game? No, not one. But... There's nothing on the basketball court that I've found that can stop me. Uh, yeah, you, know, baby. you know what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. <laughs> You've been point guard at your high school your freshman, sophomore, and junior years. Is that true? Yeah. Huh. We won state all three years. Ooh. You any good? <laughs> Already set the scoring record. <laughs> hey, well, that's just because you're playing basketball and points count for two. If you're playing baseball, that'd only be halfway there, so take that in consideration next time. What? You a starter? Yes. Every day at a cheerleader? Most of them. Do you think of me less as a person because I missed my basketball career because I accidentally signed up for law school? No. Would you prove to this courtroom right here and now with your basketball expertise that it is impossible for a human being to throw this paper ball into that a trash can? Um, wait, that's not true. Um, yes, you can't technically do... <gasps> What? <sighs> Mr. Batman. Bateman. What you're talking about has nothing to Shh. do with... I'll be with you in a moment. So you're telling me that it's not just the homers that think you're hot stuff, it's other people too that think you're good. Yeah. I had a scholarship to Kentucky, Ooh. Carolina, ah. and Kansas. Hey, Rock Chuck! Wait, you said had. You said had. Now either he doesn't know how to speak correctly or he's got his verb tense mixed up. Which is it? Yeah. Okay, had. Ha had? As in you do not have those scholarships anymore? Where are they? Are they in my file cabinet? Excuse me, have you seen his scholarships? They I fell through. Them. Okay, when I shattered my knee. Maybe I could have never defended this guy on the basketball court, but he's in my court now. And sometimes the best defense is a good offense. I'm going to try something a little different here because I know exactly who this kid is. My name is Jeffrey Bateman, and yes, it's spelled... Fine, just call me whatever. First, mark this down. Knee is spelled with a K. That K is silent. My name is spelled with an E, and that E is invisible. Mr. Batman, I can- I am lawyering! I'll be with you in a second. So, Mr. Knee Injury, when are we gonna see you back on the court? I won't. Say again? I won't. <laughs> Guess you lost the eye of the tiger when you lost the leg of the teenager, huh? No. The doctors said I'd, I'd be lucky if I walked without a limp for the rest of my life. That was their best case scenario. Okay, so we've established that you love basketball. We've also established that your vision beyond that part of your life doesn't reach much further than your jump shot. Surely if you're not going to play basketball, you're going to pursue other things at college, correct? I'm not going. Just because your scholarship left you for another basketball player, just like your girlfriend, doesn't mean you can't do something with your life. I was made to be a basketball player. Okay? Without that, nothing. Hey. Hey. That's not true. Ryan, you're not nothing. You? You're worse than nothing. You're a crybaby that won't make anything of his life and probably live in your parents' basement. I've seen it a million times before because I've lived it. Basketball is all I ever wanted to do. And now it's gone! Your Honor, permission to treat this 
lawyer is hostile. Granted. What kind of court is this? I hold my client in contempt. This is your witness. I know. So, Ryan the basketball player, if that is your real name, have you ever, in all your years of playing basketball, taken interest in anything else? Maybe something that would take you, I don't know, say outside of a gymnasium? I'm talking about investing in a person, a, a place, a, a belief. What about on the inside? Did you ever find anything that made you feel alive? Like there was something worth living for? Because there are so many things in this life to invest in. I mean, when I was a kid, I had to be about ah, 11. And that's when my parents took us to the Grand Canyon. And yes, I missed everything, but once they got me out of the trunk of the car, I got to see it and we all went out for burritos. And while it wasn't a bad day, it sure wasn't a terrible day. But I think in your case, what I'm hearing is you've been given a good life, a life that you could use to help others or make an impact on this world. But instead, you've chosen to form an entire identity around one thing that could be taken away in an instant, whether it be by a better player, by your age, or in this case, injury. Ryan basketball player. Can you please tell the court about the time you volunteered to help that family rebuild their home after they lost everything? No. Oh. Well, can you tell the court about how you used your influence to raise awareness for the homeless shelter's food drive? No. Very well. Can you tell us about the time you used your popularity to reach out to that shy kid that didn't have any friends? Come on, why don't you tell us some of these stories? Because none of them ever happened. Well, why not? You're young, healthy, popular, human. You had two good knees back then, so that must have been kind of cool. I'm thirsty. I wonder what's in here. Whoops! Oh, did you look at that? It was water in the, in the cup. Does no one understand the mediocre attempt I made at my point here? Mr. Batman, this trial is not about the defendants. If you knock something over, you find out what's inside. In this case, it was water. I wouldn't have known if I didn't tip over the cup, even though it was clear, but you see what I mean. In his case, when you got knocked over, what was inside? Selfishness? A poor me attitude? And nothing. Let me guess. You lost some friends. Didn't get as much attention. You don't know what to do with all your free time now that you're not playing basketball. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do now? I don't know. What made you such a good basketball player? I guess... I guess what I loved most was the challenge. Leading the team. Exactly. You're really good at doing things when you know what you're trying to do. And you're a natural leader when you believe in what you're leading other people towards. And, and people like you. FYI, these are good things. So it's okay to smile. All right. Your Honor, I rest my case. I believe he is on the right track and a better one than he's ever been on before.
No. That's what we've been trying to tell you all day, counselor. Your client is not here because he broke his knee or what he's done with his life since. He's here for two counts of parking in the principal spot, 13 overdue library books, and immature vandalism to a rival school's mascot. What? Dude, what have I been talking about all day? Who knows? <gasps> well, okay, we'll just have to... We'll just have to get started with the real trial. Your Honor, I don't even care anymore. I dropped the charges. Can I just go home? By all means, you've earned it. If she drops the charges, that means we won. We won! Mr. Batman, you are my nightmare. The next time you come into this court, you remember that this court is about getting your clients on the right track not circumventing library fees. But your honor, don't you think with everything I put him through, I did just that? You did, I guess, but I hate you anyways. Whoa! I taught you a valuable life lesson and got you out of library fees. Best lawyer ever. Huh. Yeah, best lawyer ever. Huh. So, all that stuff about knocking over the cup was for nothing? <laughs> Not at all. I meant every word of it. I knew annoying that prosecutor to the point of exhaustion was the only way to get you out of library fees. You're welcome. You haven't had too many people shoot you straight, have you? Not really. <laughs> Not until a few months ago, all they ever did was tell me how good I was. <laughs> I still can't believe all that was for nothing. I wouldn't say that. I mean, you just had a life-altering experience, and I just gave you new direction for your life. If I had fun torturing you along the way, it doesn't make it any less valid. You know? Look, I really am sincerely sorry you're not going to get to play anymore. But make something with the life you have. You're a hard worker and a great leader when you set your mind to something. Just set it to something other than basketball. I think of getting some ideas. Thanks for everything, Batman. Bateman.